What a great day it was to get outside this afternoon. We have plenty of sunshine, lots of blue skies to enjoy today here in Lexington. Here's a look at our ABC 36 sky cam. Looking out here to the west, shaping out to be a very nice sunset this evening. Get this. Temperatures might not even hit 80 degrees on Thursday with all of the cloud cover out there on our Thursday afternoon. So it will be pretty cool for this time of year. Factor in those dew points in the lower 70s and it feels like we are still in the lower 90s to upper 80s. 90 was our high today. All of that heat and humidity added energy to the atmosphere. That's helped those storms really fire up this evening. Heavy rainfall out to our east along Mount Sterling and the Mountain Parkway. Here in Lexington in the city area, most of us are staying dry. Just a few light sprinkles out there, but that will soon change as these storms continue to push off to the east. Welcome back to Good Day Kentucky. We are at the Living Arts and Science Center here in Lexington. Lots of art classes going on today. And temperatures have been falling this week. Earlier this week, we topped out in the lower 90s at 91 on Sunday. And we dropped down into the mid 80s. But we are going to warm up as we go throughout the rest of the weekend. And again, these storms moving to the southeast. They have just now crossed U.S. Highway 68 for Shelby County, Spencer County, as well as Anderson County. You are under a severe thunderstorm warning until 845 this evening, and there have been reports of winds over 70 miles per hour. With these storms, we have seen some hail, and here in the dark purple colors, that's where this radar is estimating some hail over an inch large. We are seeing the heavier rainfall moving into the Lexington metro area. That will soon be approaching downtown here in about the next 10 minutes. So definitely stay away from windows, the interior of your house. That is the safest place to be right now if you are in the line of these storms. It's been another active evening here in the bluegrass region. Lots of showers and thunderstorms continuing to push east along I-64 and the Bluegrass Parkway. I want to start off by mentioning there is a severe thunderstorm warning for Shelby, Spencer and Anderson County. This evening until 845 there is an estimated wind gust of about 70 mile per hour winds associated with this storm. Lots of lightning as well and this storm is continuing to move off to the east at about 40 miles per hour and we are keeping a very cl close eye on it as this will continue to move off into the Lexington metro region. And again these storms are continuing to push off to the east right now tracking along I-64 and the Bluegrass Parkway. Lexington you are just now starting to see the fringe of some of these storms pushing off into the east right now. Soon you will see quite a bit of rainfall associated with this and especially with the heavier rainfall in these pinks and oranges and as well as the red areas. Lawrenceburg you have seen quite a bit of rain move through the area as well as Harrodsburg starting to get a bit more quiet down there in Harrodsburg as well as Danville, Springfield as well. But again that severe thunderstorm right now for Spencer, Shelby and Anderson County continuing to push off to the east. As well as the Mountain Parkway, you are seeing some of the heavier rainfall. Nothing severe right now though, and actually not much lightning at all associated with these storms. They look to be weakening just now. But again, from Mount Sterling all the way down towards West Liberty along the Mountain Parkway, I get some heavy rainfall as well. It's South Central Kentucky, pretty quiet right now, especially around the London area. And I will give you another quick view of the wider picture here. Most of the heavy rainfall right now in the bluegrass region. And we will continue to see that rainfall for the rest of the evening into the overnight hours. But I do expect the rain to start to die down by the morning hours tomorrow. A flash flood watch already in effect from Wednesday until Friday. This is actually for the rainfall that will be making its way in Wednesday evening through Thursday. We are expecting about an inch to possibly three inches in some location of additional rainfall. And we really don't need the rain with all of the rain we got the, this past month in July. The counties highlighted in green, that's where that flash flood watch is in effect. And again, that does not start until tomorrow until 6 p.m. We've had quite a bit of rainfall already though, and that's all thanks to the stationary boundary that's set up across the Ohio Valley. And you'll notice it here, I'll put it up here real quick. You can notice how all of these storms are very much tracking along this boundary set up, and they are continuing to push off to the east for the rest of the evening. Like I said though, I think 
they will continue to die down as we go throughout the rest of the overnight hours. Just some cloudy skies by tonight as well as the morning hours. Again, the chance for a few spotty showers, but I don't think anything severe will continue to develop as we go through the overnight hours. Wednesday afternoon around the lunchtime hour, overcast skies, but by the afternoon, more rainfall starting to develop with a warm front moving into the area. Some heavy rainfall for Wednesday as well as Wednesday evening overnight into Thursday. Lots of clouds out there, so we should stay pretty cool for our Thursday as well. Thursday 7 a.m. more rainfall continuing to move through eastern Kentucky as well as in the lunchtime hour in the evening as well. Get this. Temperatures might not even hit 80 degrees on Thursday with all of the cloud cover out there on our Thursday afternoon. So it will be pretty cool for this time of year, not the normal for this August. Today we hit a high of 88, so pretty typical for this time of year where our average is at 86. This morning we were at a low of 67, 75 now in Lexington, 70 in Danville where the rain has fell. You are a bit cooler in Somerset as well at 68, 71 in Richmond. 69 in Jackson, but tonight we will only continue to drop into the mid 60s, 66 for our low, scattered rain showers and a few thunderstorms possible, but quietening down by the overnight hours, 83 for a high tomorrow, heavy rainfall at times during the evening hours, more heavy rain in store for us on Thursday, 80% chance of rain. I only have 79 as a high. I don't think we actually will hit the 80 degree mark. 83 by Friday, drying off nicely by the weekend into the mid 80s. Surrounding the south side of Mississippi State's campus is one of Octippaha County's most notorious roads for rush hour traffic. Blackjack Road is the home to hundreds of student apartments and soon a new student housing complex on the corner of Hardy Road. Construction of the new housing complex has significantly added to the traffic and to the frustration of students who live along Blackjack Road. The dump trucks and construction workers are out there and just clogging up the road even more when it's already pretty congested with the traffic, so it would be better if they weren't there. This isn't the first time Blackjack has seen heavy construction. Last year, dozens of homes were built for Aspen Heights student living. Over time, heavy construction machinery may be to blame for the deterioration of Blackjack Road, and students describe traveling as a nightmare. First of all, it's way too tight, and therefore it slows everything down. You have to go slow because you have to avoid potholes, and so they really need to redo the roads in order to improve the roads before the new apartments get built. Even though major construction is going on all around Blackjack Road, it might not be until a few more years until major improvements are made to the roadway. The Octippaha County Board of Supervisors do not have Blackjack Road improvements on the 2015 agenda. Construction for the new housing won't be completed until the summer of 2016, and an undetermined housing project will be undergoing construction in the next few years. For now, students will have to continue to drive slowly, dodge the potholes, and practice their patience. Reporting from Mississippi State, I'm Taylor Graham.